But if you listen to those on the other side, you would think they can do no wrong. It is the people in Belize City and Orange Walk and Corozal that got it all wrong. They can so easily see the splinter in other people's eyes, but so unable to see the planks in their own eyes. As leaders, we must be able to see where we are wrong and right our wrongs. We must not be too arrogant to say we made mistakes. But I also read somewhere that to recognize error or to alter course is often the most repugnant thing to a party in power. And it's clear with this budget that the government has not heeded the message of the Belizean people. They will not alter course. This budget fails on the mightiest internal struggles of our time, Madam Speaker. It offers nothing to end poverty. It offers no new jobs, no new homes, no antidote to the cost of living, no staunching of rising unemployment, no increase in the minimum wage, no increase in social programs, no answer to the crime problems, no fundamental change in the way we do business, absolutely no new ideas. This is what the people of Belize City rejected on March 7th. The same projects and profits over people approach. The same prioritizing of the special interests over the people's interests. The same wasteful spending projects. This budget will continue to see a handful of people get really rich, whilst the vast majority of our people remain really poor. In fact, in some ways, in many ways, this budget is a slap in the people's face.